Hi all, my name is Dan, I'm 22 years old and like most of you probably I started watching porn in my teenage years. It was when I was 15 that I first masturbated to high speed internet porn. The buzz was immense and I was instantly hooked. I stopped watching porn one and a half years ago. Here's my story. Nothing would ever beat the first time I did it. Nothing would ever beat that. Nothing ever did after that. It was just like, poof, it blew me out. It blew me out of the water. It was just crazy. And I was also suffering from depression at the time, clinical depression. And that just went away. It just lifted, it completely went away. Like, it didn't even exist anymore. Hi, everyone. My name is Susanna Stralek, and I'm a journalist. And my name is Fritz Fechner. I'm a camera operator and editor. Together and with your help, we would love to make this documentary happen. At this very moment, thousands of guys all around the world are trying to quit watching porn for good. You might wonder, why would anyone in their right mind want to quit? The answer is quite simple. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. It's a thing. I know it's a thing because I had it for six years. Ever since I was 18 years old and I tried to have sex for the first time, I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it happen. My family got high-speed internet. And this is when things got bad real quick. I began to notice that it was getting more difficult to get turned on by girls in real life. Ultimately leading to a time where I went to have sex with a gorgeous girl and I could not get turned on at all. And I was asexual. I mean, I was maybe sexual with porn, but I wasn't sexual with, with human beings. Can pornography really affect the human brain? And what can science tell us about this? To create this trailer, we had the chance to film with Daniel Simmons in Berlin, Germany. He shared with us that he's convinced he was addicted to porn. We also met Simone Kühn, a psychologist at Max Planck Institute in Berlin, who conducted a MRI study on how porn affects the brain. Je mehr Pornografie konsumiert wird, desto geringer ist eine Struktur innerhalb des Belohnungssystems, die nennt sich Striatum oder Caudatum. Das könnte sozusagen heißen, dass wenn man mehr Pornografie konsumiert, diese Struktur vielleicht schrumpft und dann dadurch dazu führt, dazu führt, dass man immer mehr braucht und immer krassere Stimuli braucht, um die gleiche Belohnung zu haben. After a while I wouldn't get the same buzz, I wouldn't get the same high as I did before. So I'd just watch it for hours on end. Sometimes I'd spend days, I'd just like go off school for a day and just watch porn all day. Um, transsexual porn and even gay porn, not because I found it it to turn on just because it shocked me. If there's anything that shocked me, I would just be watching it. Science is still at the beginning. At the same time, there are many people out there who suffer right now and who are not diagnosed or treated correctly. There is just not enough knowledge out there about the effect porn has on our brains. Help us raise awareness. Thank you so much for your support. With patience, support, a willingness to go through a little bit of pain to get better, recovery is possible. Taking care of your passions and your pursuits and your life goals. All of a sudden, that is life. Life comes back into focus. It's about your life. It's about getting your life back. It's not about how many days you've not fapped. <laughs> it's not about anything like that. It's not even about porn. It's not about anything like that. It's about your life.